Hey everyone, here I am finally getting my video blog up. Confession number one, sometimes I do late posts. Yes, life does get in the way at the Kinder House and I can't always get things out like I wanted to. No one was anticipating hubby to be gone this long and so playing a single parent role is not going so well for me. But I appreciate all your grace and your patience and your love and support towards me and this ministry and all of the team. We really do appreciate it. We are sitting here trying to do it the best we can and we are just so enjoying doing this Bible study with you going through the book, all of the posts, is they're very, very encouraging. It's so exciting to see what God is doing in each one of your lives. I guess one of the most powerful things in uh, this week's chapter that stuck out was when uh, Bill was talking about how what the enemy intends for evil, God intends for good. And he gave that example with Joseph and his brothers and how Joseph said, you know, the enemy intended to use what you were doing um, for my harm, but God turned it out for my benefit. And you know, that really um, stuck out for me because, you know, I don't know about you, but I see a lot of my own weaknesses before I see my strengths. And I see the things that I would want to change or the things that get me into trouble. And I think to myself, how would, why would God ever want to use me? More so, how will God ever use me in all of these faults and flaws that I have? And reading this this week and just really focusing on, on thankfulness, even thanking God in our difficult times, knowing Bill makes a comment in there about how um, when we give thanks in our difficult times, it turns that time or that event into an opportunity for God to work something amazing. It's almost like it, our thanks, our thankfulness and our, and our, um, gratitude become a weapon to the, or towards the enemy or onto the enemy. And God uses our gratitude and our thanks our thankful heart as a weapon to defeat the enemy in our circumstances. And so all of that really was ringing true to me today. You know, I feel, I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. I get really stressed out and nervous that I'm not going to do what, you know, God's called me well enough or, you know, that I look at being a mom and trying to balance a mom and, and do ministry. And I think, Lord, you know, I don't think I was made to do this or equipped to do this. And my son said something today and he said, mom, he said, God chose you to do this because he knows you better than you know yourself. He knows the type of woman that you are and that he knows you won't give up and you won't quit. And I thought to myself, wow, well, he's so smart. Why didn't I think of that? But sometimes when we're in the midst of it and we're full of doubt or, or we're insecure or there's a lot of anxiousness going on, we forget these real basic principles that God is calling us and he's using even our weaknesses and even the things that we think are for our destruction or we think God, or there's nothing good that could come out of that, that God chose us and he, and he picked us out of, out of the crowd so that we would because he knew that we would persevere, that we would keep going, that we wouldn't quit even when it got hard. And so I just want to encourage you this week as you get out there and, you know, maybe you're doing something right now where you're feeling kind of insecure or you're not sure how a situation is going to turn out or maybe your boss is being kind of a jerk or, or um, your marriage is on the rocks or something just isn't going right and you're really worried about it and you can't see how God's going to turn any of this into a benefit for you or for the kingdom. And I would just say, you know, find what is praiseworthy about God. Maybe you can't see anything praiseworthy in the situation, but like Bill said, go back to your past and look at the things where God was faithful and where he's spoken to you and where you've seen that he's come through and use those to find thankfulness on and say that if he was th faithful to me in the past, he's going to be faithful to me in this situation too. Well, I hope you're enjoying the book as much as we all are, and it's been great talking to you on the boards. We're praying for you. We're believing for great things, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.